I was recently asked if I could develop a video that shows how you would go about creating a DSS file. Um, if you've seen some of the rest in videos, you see that I talk about um, mapping to a specific DSS file and then selecting a path, uh, typically for data such as inflows. Uh, but I've never made a video that actually shows how you would go about creating uh, a DSS file, so that, that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, and by the way, DSS is the database that the core of engineers tends to use for the storage of time series data. And it's the database that interfaces with a lot of the HEC programs. So one of the first things that you need to do is you need to go in and create a, um, a, a new HEC DSS file. And I'm just going to save this one in documents. I'm going to call this YouTube DSS. And now I'm going to do a manual time series. Now the, the different parts that, um, in the, the manual, the DSS manual, they do recommend certain things for the parts. And the part A is either project, river, or basin name. So I'm actually just going to call this test. Um, the location is going to be, say, test river. The data parameter, you can make this flow. Um, in this case, we'll use one hour data. And we're just going to call this constant 500. <clears throat> one of the things that you may have noticed is that in a lot of the sample videos I make, I tend to use a constant flow. And it's really just to make the math easy for just being able to, to demonstrate the results or to see things in the results. Obviously, it's unrealistic that you'd have a constant flow for such a long period of time, but um, again, it, it's easy to, to see the results from using constant flows. So in this case, we're going to put in a start date, and we're going to put in a start time, and the units, in this case, it's going to be CFS. Now you can do either instantaneous value or period average. In this case, I'm going to just call it an instantaneous value. And if I just want to do a constant value, I can do an automatic generation. And let's say that I'm running the model for a month. I'll put in the date as 31 January 2020, and um, the end time is 2400. And remember, when you're developing these data files for RESSIM, you want to make sure that it also covers the look back period. And I go into look back period either on the blog. I, I'm not sure if I have a video about that, but um, I did put some information out there about look back period also, but you want to make sure your data does cover the look back period. And then you can just hit generate and then save. And I don't want to return to the data entry screen. And now you can go ahead and look at it. You can see that you have created a constant 500 CFS for the month of January 2020. I also wanted to show if you actually do have real data. In this case, I'm going to do the White River at Newport. So I'm going to call this White River Newport. And I'm going to call this Flow. In this case, I have daily data. Call this. Um, so the F part is a description, so I'm just going to say that this is for the YouTube model. Now I need to go see what my start date is. So my start date is October 1st, 1927. Start time would be 2400 units of CFS, and this is period average. Now. If I want to put all these values in all at once, I can do a simple copy and paste. So I need to select all of this data. So now that I have the data selected, I need to go back to my data entry screen. Oh, it seems like I lost my data entry for some reason, so I'm going to do that again.
put in one day and I think I called this YouTube model. Start date was 01 October 1927. Start time 2400. It's a flow value. I'm going to call it period average and then I'm going to hit paste and may take a minute. There we go. And now I'm going to save it. I don't need to return to the screen. Oh, that's where that uh, uh, input screen had went. Okay, now we're going to take a look at our Newport flow data. And there you can see. And so in one case for this path, by the way, these are called paths. So this path was the constant flow of 500 CFS. And then this was actual data from Newport that I took from the USGS site. And again, you can just hit this uh, graph button and, and you can take a look at um, what the flow looked like over the past, um, would that be a little bit over 80 years worth of data. So hopefully that helps you to understand how to go in and develop a DSS file. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to know when I put new videos out. Thanks for watching.